Hi there, this is uh, my Bighorn 2008. Um, the Bighorn is uh, top of the line uh, fifth wheel by Heartland. And you can see the front uh, front cap on here with the graphics. You can see it's got a, uh, a bike rack that holds uh, two bike racks. It also has the uh, the airborne hitch, which is a, uh, it's got an airbag in there. It gives you a nice smooth ride when you're towing. In the very front of the coach on the outside, it does have the generator. That generator is a propane power generator hooked into my propane tanks with the remote switch inside you just turn it on and uh, you have a generator there's also under the underbelly an automatic transfer switch now the automatic transfer switch is designed so that when you turn your generator on it automatically transfers over i also have the surge guard model 34560 which is going to uh, make sure your voltage is correct at the campground it's going to um, protect your coach against surge and uh, all works in conjunction with the generator. Inside here you see it's got central vac as well and lots and lots of storage compartments. On the far side I've got the uh, water filter. We also have a UV light that's built into the system. So this coach has got many many upgrades. I'm going to take it for a walk around the outside and then we'll go inside. Um, triple step, uh, roll up awning in perfect condition. Rolls out very nicely. You've got your aluminum alloy rims. Brand new tires on this coach. They were replaced in uh, 2013. Uh, all good seals around the slide out, and of course, it has the slide toppers on the three slide outs. All your windows are tinted. Um, you've got the fiberglass cap on the back as well as the front. So, uh, definitely a very nice coach. Uh, up on the roof, all been maintained very well. And I have the uh, Kingdom satellite uh, for the Bell Express View satellite system. At the back of the coach, we've got the rear jacks that are electric. We have a 50 amp connection. And uh, just going towards the front here, again, the alloy rims. You've got uh, what they call scare lights on the front and the back of the coach. Uh, we've got a compartment outside where you can store your sewer hose. You have a 12 gallon uh, water, he water heater tank. That water heater is uh, electric and gas. And uh, it also has the direct spark ignition, so if you want to turn it on gas, you can just flick a switch inside. But it does run on electricity as well. Now this has got the centralized docking system. You have an outside light, place for phone, cable. Uh, you have a connection there. You have a, um, a shower. You've got your hookups for, uh, for city water connection and a water fill tank. Very large tanks. You, this uh, connection right here, if you want to flush out your, uh, your waste tank, your black water tank, you can flush it out. You can bypass your water heater. You can also uh, use this hose here to pump antifreeze directly through your system, bypassing the uh, fresh water tank. Gray water tanks, there's two of them. You have your waste holding tank. Uh, everything's designed right here to be centralized. All your hoses go out to the floor so there's no hoses hanging outside. Inside here, I mentioned you've got your UV light. You've got your filter right there. Uh, everything's uh, in working order, of course. Uh, you've also got on the side of the coach, your uh, battery compartment. And the nice thing about this, is your propane tanks are on the side of your coach, not on the front. Very easy access, two 30 pound cylinders. Those propane cylinders also run the generator, which is at the front. So that's the exterior of the coach. I'm gonna take you for a walk inside now. This uh, video is gonna last no more than uh, 10 minutes. I wanted to give you a good video as well as the, uh, the picture. So as I walk in, really important feature, when you're traveling with this coach, your fridge is very accessible. You can get food out of your fridge, no problem, with the slide outs in. You do have a pantry on either side. This pantry slides in and out. And up top, you've got your shelf. Understand that all the cabinets in the Bighorn are solid oak. This is not an oak veneer. This is solid oak cabinets. You've got your stove with the igniter, oven, lots of drawers, solid surface countertop with the extension on the side. You do have a water filter uh, on, your, uh, uh, on your sink as well. Brand new, uh, brand new fixture here. This is uh, we upgraded it to a, a better quality one. And uh, as I go towards the back of the coach, you see it's got the two Euro chairs. They are recliners. Very easy to move around. Like unlike many chairs and trailers that are heavy and awkward, these are very light and easy to move around. Uh, and they do recline. They have both have their own uh, footstool as well. Nice uh, halogen lighting up above. Uh, you've got uh, switches on the reading lights on both sides. You've got plugs down below for telephone and electricity. And uh, this is your rear entertainment center. Now this is the entire rear wall. So you've got overhead storage, side storage, and storage down below. Fireplace in the middle. And you've also got a desk. 
And all I have to do is unsnap these two clips. And I can, uh, there we go, pull this desk drawer out. When it comes out, you can actually put a chair right up to it. You've got a workstation right there as well. That could be plugged into your computer, could be plugged into your TV if you want to use it for a monitor. All your indirect lighting up above and down the sides. You notice it has the surround sound speaker system. There is a bass woofer in there as well. And uh, you've got speakers up and behind you as well. So a true uh, 5.1 surround system. Uh, five speakers and the bass uh, is the uh, 0.1. Uh, looking towards your, um, your sofa. This is an air mattress sofa bed. Pulls out to a queen size. Very comfortable residential sofa. Again, you've got reading lights above it. You've got halogen lighting. Solid oak cabinets all the way along the top. Uh, all your your nightshades are day nightshades. Many companies nowadays just use uh, the uh, nightshades. These are designed for daytime and nighttime, so it lets light in but gives you privacy. Freestanding table with the extension. You can see uh, right here that extension goes back in or pulls right out, give you more uh, more table space, and you do have storage underneath here as well. All your chairs are freestanding, and each chair does lift up as well. The seat lifts up. You can store uh, games and, and cards and, and maps and stuff underneath the seats. I'm going to take you for a walk towards the front now. Right away, I'm going to show you your um, some of your hookups. You've got uh, your vacuum is right here, so central vacuum. You've got your fuse panels, your uh, propane detector. You also have the red switch there to turn on your uh, ultraviolet light uh, disinfection for your fresh water. That's an option that was installed. Inside here... We're going to see a place to hang coats. One of the things we get asked for a lot in trailers is, can I have a place to hang my coats? Very nice. Up here, you've got your a switch for your awning receptacles. If you have patio lights, ceiling fan, you've got your electrical water heater switch, all your outside security switches, porch lights, and this is the switches for your uh, the kitchen and living room, so you can just turn them on from here instead of having to reach up. Your slide outs are here. These slide outs are hydraulic, not electric. Big difference. They go in and out very smoothly and very quickly. Also, you have the ability to put one slide out at a time or all three at once. And of course, you have a monitor panel with a built-in water heater switch there on the right. The middle one's for your pump. And the far left one is just to test it to make sure everything's working. Now, I'm going to take you for a tour of the uh, bedroom area. You have a solid pocket door here that comes right across into a track that gives you privacy. You do have a storage area underneath here. Right now, I've got the vacuum equipment there. That's fantastic. And as I go towards the coach, you're going to see I've got a bathroom compartment here. There's your toilet closet with its own fan and storage and whatnot right there. There's also an outlet there if you needed it. And here's where I've got the washer and dryer. So washer and dryer is a combination unit made by Pinnacle. And it's all hooked up and it's vented outside. You also have storage up top here as well with a light. We put our uh, extra plastic bags right there. Now you'll see in the bedroom you've got uh, nine drawers. Now these are very nicely done very deep all solid wood nine drawers with a nice counter above that you've got extra hooks for uh, your uh, you know um, uh, pajamas and uh, night robes that kind of thing carbon monoxide detector right here overhead storage we've got the tv in the corner hooked into the uh, tv antenna which is right here and uh, the tv's right there you've got uh, oh, your wardrobe in the front is huge these mirror doors open up. Inside this area, I'm going to turn the light on. There's the light inside. You can see you've got a shelf. You've got a place to hang your clothes. You've got extra spots here for shoes. And even underneath, you've got more storage underneath there. So lots and lots of storage space. Two mirror doors. And you can see over here, more storage space as well. So in the bedroom, lots and lots of storage. Even the bed itself does lift up. And there's storage underneath here as well. This is a king-size bed. Matching bed spread and pillows. Both windows on both sides open up, and you've got reading lights above. There is an outlet right there for plugging in uh, any phones and stuff at nighttime. In your ceiling, you've got a, uh, a high-speed, fantastic fan that's thermostat controlled. If you're operating on battery, this trailer will stay nice and cool just with the fan. In the bathroom area, you've got your sink, more drawers, more storage, overhead. All solid oak cabinets, folks. This uh, shower stall, uh, nice big, large shower stall, one-piece fiberglass. Again, brand new shower head with the, uh, it's got like a high pressure shower head. And you do have a skylight above as well. So this trailer shows like new. It is not new. It's a 2008. If you're interested, I highly recommend you give me a call. We'll arrange for a viewing. And I can guarantee you that this trailer is in fantastic condition. And you're going to have many, many years of, uh, of great vacation time. And uh, you can retire and you could live in this trailer. 
uh, give me a call. Thanks.